What's going on, everybody? So we are back, and we are going to be finishing off the recruitment event that I started the other day. We need 150 summons to pick up our Triple S selection token um, or selection card, so we're going to go ahead and pick up that today. I'm actually curious on what I want to go for. I think, I think I'd rather have Creed at this point than Anpu. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. Also, I really, really do want to pick up um, all of these red runes. So good. So I'm going to summon, um, what we're going to do is 100 limited tokens, uh, summons, and then 50 advanced recruitment cards. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to go for creep. I'm going to go for creep. Um, I think that honestly, creep is just in a better spot than Anpu for me. Um, I, I think that I have uh, Anrita, and honestly, Anpu hasn't really been that impressive for me at least. Uh, I think I'd rather have creep. That's, that's basically what I'm saying, right? I don't know. I'm not as impressed as on with Ampu as a lot of other people are. So uh, let me know what you guys think if, if you think I'm making the wrong decision or what. But let's go for it. Let's do how to go ahead and do 100 summons here on Crete. Hopefully we get a couple copies of Crete. Uh, we also have Murfro and Hercules in here. So if we get a couple Hercules copy, that'd be kind of cool. Again, we're really looking just for Crete though. We don't have an immortal Crete. So, you know, this is, uh, this is a pretty important kind of summon session because if we do get an immortal crete that's going to be really nice it's going to help me in so many different scenarios but starting off we got an elite herfro not super excited about this guy but i want to get them all to immortal so here we go right <laughs> uh, it might be worth it going starting in the future to start summoning based on the elites on the sides right another murfro right back to back here we go we're definitely going to get him close to immortal today aren't we <laughs> Hercules too. Wow, a double elite. <clears throat> That's pretty crazy, actually. Hercules and Murfro. I think I have an immortal one Hercules at this point. So getting an immortal two would be pretty nice as well. Uh, I do use him every so often. Blue. Let's go ahead and skip that one. Keep going. Keep on going. I, I, I've i been really impressed with Crete in a lot of scenarios. Like I would like to use him for um, my Twilight Lands. So that's one of the reasons why I would also like to use them in elite campaign and arena. So those three game modes are kind of the game modes that I'm focusing on another Hercules. So getting another Vanguard would pair Leo plus um, Crete in the same kind of teams. And I'll be able to go ahead and do those matches or do those Twilight Lands battles a little bit easier, which would be really, really helpful. So because right now I only have artists and artists really just doesn't doesn't do much in those scenarios. He just dies. Um, and i'd rather just not use him so uh i definitely definitely would like to pair leo with another vanguard that's quite solid and Crete's going to be that perfect option so although it's not going to be super game changing you know getting at least one copy of Crete hopefully here would be pretty nice with the triple s selection to a card i'm not quite sure what i want to go for yet thought about going just diving deeper into the immortal characters that i already have but we'll see I do want to get basically all the triple s's to immortal i think before i start diving into going for like immortal fives and such just because you know you never know if they're gonna buff a character and you never know when you want like some sort of versatility in some sort of character and so that's pretty much why i want to do that like i think bada is actually gonna be my next character besides crete that i'm gonna actually level up that or ravenna actually you know what ravenna might be the one that i want to upgrade the most and boom we got a crete that's awesome so we did get at least one crete today very happy about that. Um, I wasn't expecting to get a creep, so very happy about that. And now, I, as I'm talking, I think Ravenna is going to be the choice because she's going to help out in Scythe Spider, and she's going to give me that AOE energy damage dealer, which I really need for Twilight Lands as well. So I think Ravenna is going to be the next option. And I think that overall, a lot of people are sleeping on Ravenna. Maybe, you know, you could say even including myself, even though I mentioned early on that I uh, actually really wanted to summon for Ravenna <laughs> way, way early on, except I, I just never got to it because I summoned for Emma and then I went for Leo and then our Skewer and then I went for Leo and it all just kind of tumbled out of out of my mind, right? But here we go, last 10 pull for the limited summons and then we'll just do 50 real quick for the advanced summons. And then I think I'm gonna invest into Ravenna here for this video, I think. I, I do want to get Crete up to Immortal, so maybe I'll do my last gene hybrid on, or a couple more gene hybrids on Crete, and then I will move over to doing, um, uh, what's her name, Ravenna. That's what I'm going to be doing. 
and we'll see what we can do with the, between those two. So last poll, we got Murfro. Not bad, not bad. We do have, let me just see here, 286 data chips. So we're going to be basically set for the next couple of banners to pick up some gene hybrids, which is nice. We're going to reset in two days and hopefully we get two more banners. I'm uh, imagining the new character um, is going to be coming out soon, uh, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, I'm not too fussed about it, honestly. Um, I don't even know if I would summon more than 60 summons anyways for that character. And we're going to have enough summons with the ancient altar uh, reset here. So I'm not too worried about it. Here we go. First one off the bat. We do get a bot mark two. Um, that's pretty nice, actually. I don't think they're on the wish list. Oh, they are. Okay, so bot mark two is on the wish list. I think that's immortal two for bot mark two, which is actually pretty nice. So that's that's pretty good. Very, very happy about that one. Hoping, hoping we get some more of our immortalized elites because, well, we really, really need to, to start getting some, some bubbles up on, on these guys. Omar, pretty nice. Back-to-back -back elites here. Another wishlist character. Another one that I would like to upgrade a lot more. I'm getting close to being able to max out most of my elites. Uh, at least when I say max, I, I mean immortalize most of my elites. I think I'm missing like six or seven maybe elites that I have not quite leveled up enough yet. Um, other than that, it's just Immortal Fiving, which is crazy to me. It's crazy how fast this game just goes on by. Um, so definitely, definitely if you guys are starting out the game, don't be surprised or don't be too worried about going for like, oh, my characters aren't even close to Immortal. I wonder how long it's going to take, etc. Because it does go by really quickly. So. We do have a couple of shops here. I just want to check this out, see if there's any character I want to pick up. I will pick up a Sorietta, and I think I'll pick up a Bot Mark II as well, because those two I'm using all the time. After that, I think I will just go ahead and sit on them. Uh, basic summons. Do we want to pick up anything here? Let's do our last temple here. See what we get. Oh, we do get a uh, we get a Hypnos, which is someone I'm actually maxing out right now. Very nice. We got 200 of the talent tree points. Actually, pretty good. And I think I might pick up um, someone that's of 85 here. Maybe I'll just go for another Lear in here uh, just because. Again, I'm not really too fussed about anything there. Let's see what we can get for Bot Mark 2. So that is Immortal 2 there, which is quite nice. And then for Sorietta, that is Immortal 2 as well. Both pretty big upgrades for me. And then for Hercules, that is also Immortal 2, which is pretty nice. Definitely approaching that uh, nice upgrade. We have got another Hypnos. We're going to bring him up to Legendary 1. And then we have a Crete. And we're going to bring that guy up to Legendary 2. And then I actually need to use a Gene Hybrid on him right now um, to bring him up to close to Immortal level. Not quite, uh, but we're going to bring him up to Legendary 4. And then I'm going to start maxing out Crete, or at least getting him up to Exclusive 20 and uh, getting the talents finished. As for the recruitment event in the Giant Tower, you can see here, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up, I'll just do five here just to show you guys what the last tier looks like. This is what the last tier looks like. If I had 40 more summons, would I have gone for Crete? I don't know, actually. I think I like the red runes a little bit more. I don't know if that's crazy to say, but I like the red runes a little bit more. Actually, you know what? This triple S selection token, we can pick up Crete here. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> let's go ahead and pick up our last Crete. There we go. That's going to be Immortal Crete, guys, um, which is pretty awesome, actually. Let's do that. And boom, Immortal Crete. Pretty cool. So now we have a really, really upgraded Crete that we can start using in a lot of scenarios. I'm going to have to gear him up. I'm going to have to go ahead and upgrade him. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy about this because I've been trying to take advantage of basically getting as many triple S's as possible that are really, really useful leveled up and ready to go for, uh, you know, whenever I actually need them. So this is a very, very exciting thing for me. That's exclusive 20. And uh, for the talents, we should be able to max these up as well. So overall, honestly, that one Crete was the big difference that we got in our summon session. I'm very happy that we ended up getting it. Um, so honestly, even though we summoned 100 summons and we only got one triple S, and in fact, we didn't even get any other triple S's in the previous summon session that we did, hence my video, Don't Summon on Pity, we ended up getting an Immortal Crete at the end of the day, which is pretty exciting, so I'm happy about that. Honestly, 
no harm, no foul. I mean, that was, uh, that was a pretty good day. We've got a lot of stuff going for us, and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So let me know what you guys are doing out there, how your accounts are rolling along. Again, it's kind of like um, a portion of the time. Uh, I, I've done a couple of videos talking about, like, the state of the game and what we could do to make the game better. At this point, we really don't have a ton of new content to talk about, so um, I'm kind of just sharing my progress, sharing what I'm up to on the game, and, of course, giving you guys a couple strategies here and there and some build guides. That's kind of where we're at in terms of content, um, since there isn't really a whole bunch of new content to cover. So I hope there's going to be some new events coming soon, because it would be cool to talk about something uh, kind of new to the game. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you all tomorrow.